I'm here at the waterfront in Belgrade, Serbia. A lot of constructions going on to my right. This is a development, the complex being uh, built by, uh, by uh, United Arab Emirates developers. Apartments, shopping centers, all kinds of stuff. And it's, uh, just checking my mic. It's uh, under development right now, but there are a lot of uh, shops and cafes that are open. A lot of the apartments are starting to, uh, to be sold. And it's a really nice uh, development that's springing up here by the, by the river. I thought I would do a really quick video as I'm showing you guys this area of uh, a Hunter Biden update, the, the artist known as Hunter Biden update. And uh, Tucker Carlson had a good segment, which I'm going to play for, for everybody, where Hunter Biden is interviewed and, and the person interviewing him about his, uh, his upcoming. Actually, I think he already had it his exhibition in uh, Los Angeles about what Hunter Biden thinks when uh, people are slamming him about his art and about the fact that uh, he's just selling paintings for $500,000 because, you know, they're buying political favors and he's Joe Biden's son. And, and they ask Hunter Biden what he thinks about that. And Hunter Biden starts getting into this. At first, he starts talking about, you know, what it's like to be an artist. And when you're going to be an artist, you have to be brave and express yourself. And it's part of the game. And then he just kind of sits there and says, you know what, they can go, they, they, they all can go F themselves anyway. <laughs> and I just think it just shows the privilege um, and the untouchable sense that Hunter Biden has of himself. I mean, he, he is untouchable at this point and he knows it. And the fact that he can call himself an artist just, you know, seemingly overnight and start selling his paintings for half a million dollars. Well, I mean, the guys on, on cloud nine, he knows that no one can touch him and he's fine with it. Uh, he actually, he's telling people they can go F themselves. This is the sentiment. This is the elites and everybody else. You know, Hunter Biden is just basically saying out loud, out loud what they think, what all the elites think. So yeah, I'll play the Tucker Carlson uh, segment right now for, uh, for you guys to see it. It's pretty interesting. I'll also uh, put up some works of Hunter Biden's. Interestingly enough, at that, uh, that art gallery, that exhibition, where his paintings are being sold for half a million. You had the, uh, the mayor of Los Angeles. He still is the mayor, I believe, Garcetti, who was also there. And he's been uh, appointed by Biden to be the ambassador of India. He's up for nomination to be the ambassador of India. So he's getting a real sweet deal from his association with Joe Biden. And uh, I don't know, maybe one of the requirements for, for Garcetti to, to get that ambassadorship to India is he buys one of Hunter Biden's pieces pieces of crap <laughs> anyway <laughs> it's uh it's incredible it's incredible what we're seeing and it's just not sustainable either it is not sustainable um eventually the people that hunter biden is saying to go f themselves well they're uh they're gonna push back hunter and uh things are gonna get ugly anyway all right everybody that is the video coming to you from the waterfront the river in Belgrade, Serbia. I will be signing out for now and I'll do a couple more videos from around here, maybe one or two more videos from around here. Go to the Duran shop, the Duran.locals.com as well, and go to our videos on our new uh, on the new video platforms. Rumble, Super U, Bitch Shoot, and Odyssey. It's cold and it's rainy. And uh, I better get inside somewhere real soon. Take care. So Hunter Biden, in contrast to a lot of other people in this country, is in a really good place right now. He's become a painter, finger painting apparently, and he's been selling his works for hundreds of thousands of dollars to unnamed foreign buyers because that's totally legitimate. People have criticized him for this. What does he think? He doesn't care what you think. If I was going to choose something, um, you know, to become an artist and um, and subject yourself to that uh, that uh, the normal and uh, and uh, criticism of sharing your art to a wider audience than your friends and family is, uh, you know, I and at least in my book, it's a pretty courageous thing to do. You seem to have good spirits about you know this sort of kind of crazed narrative around your your painting. You know, I mean, how do you? Yeah. you know, what's your response to the people who are you know coming after like the prices of the work or just you know the the, the collectors? I mean, what, what's been your response to that? Other than him. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of blame, hard to blame Hunter Biden for this. I mean, if someone's going to pay you hundreds of thousands of dollars for your art, uh, 
hobby you'd just taken up like 20 minutes ago, would you take the money? Of course you would. You would do what you could get away with. 99% of people would. It's everyone else who's implicated in this. The people who are interviewing Hunter Biden and calling any criticism of his art career hyperventilating, it's all political, is the people buying this crap purely because he's the president's son. And it's the entire media establishment pretending it's not happening. Those are the villains in this story. Hunter Biden is just a man on the make getting what he can. And he's getting a lot. He just hosted an art show in Hollywood. It featured hundreds of rich people from around California, including the mayor of the rapidly disintegrating city of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti. He was there. Now, why might that be? Because he's a huge art fan? Because Hunter Biden, after 50 years of running around smoking crack or doing whatever he was doing, became a great artist? Right. No. Joe Biden has just nominated Garcetti to be the American ambassador to India. Garcetti, you should know, appears in Hunter Biden's laptop on a list of key contacts to grease the wheels for Hunter Biden's Chinese business partners. It's all so repulsive. It's actually happening now. It's so third world.